Welcome to quite a serene evening on the Atlantic. I was hoping to share a beautiful sunset with you, but actually it's clouded over. It's been really nice all day. It's clouded over now. Um, I'm heading north uh, and around midnight I'm going to tack and head to the west because there's a very nasty little low pressure system developing to the west of me and if I carry on north I'm going to get clobbered by like 50 knots of wind probably and I don't want that so I've got to go west I've got no choice a bit gutted about it and I think you know I I could have navigated this bit better I am going to lose time but there we go. It's done. Move on. I think the last couple of days, well, I guess the last weeks really, I lost a little bit of my mojo. Um, just with, I think it was just having all the problems on board. Just my focus started to just really zoom into the boat. And I was only focusing on what was happening on the boat and dealing with those problems and and I stopped looking outside and, and getting this global perspective on where I am and what I'm doing. So today I've just had a bit of a, a rethink of things and I've been outside a lot, I've been just feeling, feeling the ocean and the air and, and getting my head back into the fact that, you know, I've got 6,000 miles left to sail and I will have sailed around the world in a mocha. And actually this stretch of water is, is, quite a, is quite a poignant stretch of water for me um, because in about two days time I will be level with Uruguay. And on the 2nd of January 2009, I left Uruguay in my boat, in my 40 foot cruiser racer and I sailed single handed to the UK. And that was the start of my journey to the Vendée. I'd never sailed overnight uh, solo before. It was the first ever ocean trip I'd done on my own. And actually I came back through this stretch of water at the same time as the Vendée Globe competitors were coming back through that stretch of water as well. So for me to be here now, 11 years later, and sailing in Imoka on the final stretch of the Vendée Globe is really special. And I made a mistake, I've messed up. I need to get out of the way of this low pressure, get my head back in the game. We've still got 6,000 miles to bash out and they're going to be good ones because this is good. <laughs>